Alright, so I'm looking to install a GPS speedo in my boat and I bought this online. Um, it's got a manual, it's got the GPS antenna, quite a long line, almost 4 metres cable length, so that'll be more than enough. Uh, this is the actual unit I got here, so this goes up to 35 knots um, and 45 mile an hour, and then it's also got a um, an LCD readout as well. Um, yeah, it's interesting trying to get ones that are in the right range for a, a runabout, but um, managed to do that in the end, so this looks pretty good. Nice pin configuration. This is for the antenna. It's like a waterproof cap. For the, I guess what's holding it together. Um, and they've also got the leads as well. So, all pretty nicely done. Pretty clear instructions as well. Um, so it's just a case of figuring out where I am going to put it. It's got all the dimensions here. Here's my dash. I'm thinking I'm going to leave this over here. I don't think I can fit any more on that side. I was looking at relocating this here, further up here, but due to the shape of the profile of the uh, dashboard here, the fiberglass here is actually pretty thick, uh, sort of that thick there, so it's not really easy to mount up very high here. So I think I'm just going to leave all that as it is. And on this side there was another hole that I'd since filled, and then I had a giant Velcro block, as you can see, where I had the slightly mouldy after winter um, holder for uh, drinks and keys and things like that. So I'm going to take this off, I'm going to remove this Velcro, I'm going to measure this area here, it's actually slightly taller than the, the, the gauge, ever so slightly, so I'll probably need to make a new slightly larger ring template that sits around to cover these edges here, there's also a hole down here I'm going to investigate, um, need to cover that and then obviously that'll be a circle in which this can be placed. So this will look this will look pretty good here, I think. That will be I'm gonna be sitting up higher, so it'll be that position there. So I think that's gonna be a pretty good spot to be able to see the speed. Um, and it will have cleaned up all the side of the dash, so it'll be looking all much better. Alright, so now to go and measure and see what I'm dealing with with this spot under here, if it's gonna be something that I can clean up and get looking nice. Alright, so I've removed that Velcro and this looks gnarlier than I remember. So we've got four screws down here, we've got um, some filler that's filled the whole back and then there was some Sikaflex placed over the top to get everything flush so that the Velcro would stick. Uh, the camera makes these look like this is going to cover it, but it's not really, it's certainly not going to cover those, those holes as well. So we will have to do a bit of work to get this to fit. I'm thinking of putting in a whole new section in here um, out of plastic or PVC that can cover the whole area, maybe even a large circle or a slightly different shape, a slightly different profile that would allow this to get mounted. Alright, so I've just made a paper based template that I can use to cover those holes as carefully as possible a little bit of adhesive on the back there so I can stick it down and then I'll use that as a way of cutting a piece of ABS plastic that will give me a clean fascia and then I will drill through that and allow me to mount this. So this will basically have a, a, a bevel around it, a black bevel around it, but it will have cleaned up that whole area so you won't have any of those other slightly marks. Um, and that will wind up sitting in there like that. Um, so the next thing to do is to to get those measurements and then get the ABS cut to fit. Um, at some point I might try and clean up the edges around this one as well because they're a bit, a bit rough too, they're not, not square, they're not, perfectly, not a perfect circle. Um, that's how I bought the boat, might choose to clean that up at some point as well. Alright, so I've got the ABS piece of ABS plastic which will fit and it's circular and if I get it just in the right spot it covers everything perfectly. So I'm probably going to clamp and gl glue this now to this point and then I can come in with the rotating blade and cut out the piece, cut out the circular piece for the GPS to slot straight in in one go. All right. Alright, so that's now on there, clamped and glued. It doesn't need to be super strong, it's solid behind it. This is basically just to hold it in place so that when I drill and core all the way through to create the, um, the hole for the dial, 
uh, that everything will sit tight. Once I put the dial in and, and screw it down, it'll actually hold that face here against the um, the dashboard. But it will be this will be pretty glued and pretty solid by then anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. So this unit has now been mounted in with the uh, bracket on the back, and you can see now I've got the wires running from the plug. They run along the top. And then I've used some piggyback crimps to run them off the back of the LED voltmeter. So these are heat shrink and then wrapped in insulation tape as well, just to bind them. And they should sit here fine. So everything's now running off that. The voltmeter was running off the accessory, which I had pulled off from, spliced off from the original OMC gear. So instead of re-splicing another one, I decided just to run in parallel off that. So basically when the um, unit, when the running gear goes into accessory, um, the voltmeter will kick in, the GPS unit will, will turn on, and that will give it obviously time for um, that to get a bit of a head start before I turn the actual motor over. Uh, once the motor's over, then obviously we'll be able to go forward, and hopefully by that stage the GPS is taking a reading. Uh, I'm now currently going and looking at how to install the antenna itself, and I've decided that along the interior of this boat, I'm going to screw it up here, so this is up the, um, the front of the boat, it's by the bow. We've got these timber beams that run through here that have been glassed over. So I'm going to put some double-sided um, adhesive foam that will stick the, the unit here. In fact, I'll show you. And it has a screw hole as well. So these are obviously hanging upside down, there's vibration, um, and there's obviously gravity working on it. So as well as the adhesive, I will put a screw through here that will go through into this uh, timber as well and hold this nice and tight. And then I'll run the wire back, clean it up. We've got a very, very long lead, so I'll, I'll be able to bundle it, cable tie it, and then this unit will be ready. All right, so that has now been screwed and it's using adhesive as well, holding it in place. It's got a relatively uh, loose line through to the speaker for the OMC um, sounder. Um, and then um, I've just bundled the cables behind here. This provides a bit more support. And also it's a bad idea to try and cable tie them off here because all that does is eventually put load on all of these other connections. So if you can find a place to bundle it, which I've been able to achieve by packing it underneath the, uh, um, underneath the bracket, and then I've screwed that in as well. So we are all good to go. I'll obviously do a uh, power on test here um, and then we can do a uh, actual speed test out on the water. But yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, so this is now fully wired in. I've got the battery plugged in. I've got this wired to AC, so I'll turn on the um, accessory switch now. And you can see it very faintly from this angle on this camera. Maybe if I go underneath we can see that a bit better. There we go. It's already found the signal. I did that very quickly. 